Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Biggs, and today I'm going to be talking about how to use MLA format. Now, I know a lot of you are at home right now, and you have to write an essay, and it says write in MLA format, and some of you don't know what you're doing, so I'm here to give you a quick little demonstration on how to properly use MLA format. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to do Control A, you're going to put your paper in 12 point font, in Times New Roman, and then you're going to go up here to Format, line spacing, and you're gonna select double. So now that all this is done, you're going to write your name first and last, your teacher's name, the title of the course, and the date in this format. So for example, today is Monday, April 27th. So you would write 27 April, 2020. Now the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna hit enter. So there's a space in between this top part and the title. Now, usually you would put maybe your title in 18 font, bold it and make it fancy, but no, not in MLA format. In MLA format, you just keep it basic. So 12 point font times new Roman, just like everything else. And here we go. So there's not going to be an actual enter or space in between the title and your introduction paragraph. Nope, all you're going to do is hit enter and start typing your introduction paragraph, although you will want to indent and to do that simply just tab. And then yet again, like I mentioned above, there's not going to be any space besides that double uh, space that's already built in. And then you're just gonna go through and you're good to continue typing. What's this? And then you're just gonna continue typing everything and then once you get to your conclusion, this is what you're going to do. So you're just going to do a space here. In all capital letters, you're going to type conclusion. And then there's going to be no indent in between the conclusion and then the actual paragraph itself. And then you're going to finish your conclusion. And then there's two more things left that you have to do. And that is to get this fancy page number and your last name and the works cited. But let's do works cited first. So most of you know the website EasyBib. You're just gonna go there, and if it's a website, you'll copy and paste the link in, and if it's a book, you'll type the title of the book in, and it tells you all that stuff on the website. And it's gonna ask you for some information, and you'll type it in, and if you can't find it, you don't have to worry about it. And then once it's done, you're gonna copy and paste it, and you're gonna keep it as is. And then you're gonna put it on a separate page. And then the final thing that you're going to do, like I mentioned earlier, is to get this page number. So to do that, you're going to go to insert page number. You're going to select the first one. Now, originally, all there is going to be is the number. So what you're going to want to do is in front of it, you're going to type in your last name. And then once you've done that, you're going to click out of it. And then look at this. It's going to update on every single page. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do work cited. It really isn't that hard and it really makes your essay look much more professional. Thank you for your time.